Hello VC, hello everyone, and uh, yes, as you can see by the title, this is a video uh, me talking about my meetup with John Bellamy. And uh, yeah, so we decided to meet up on um, the 15th of February, um, around the afternoon, um, at Kelly's Records in Cardiff, because I was going down there and said, John, what time would you like to meet up on weekends? Uh, yeah, sure, about no, on this time, around 1.30. So yeah, we got to meet up. So Kelly's Records in Cardiff um, is basically, um, it's a record shop inside a giant, um, like rec a giant market stand, market place, big market place, market hall, uh, market, market, market place. So it's really, um, it's big, it's got everything. So what's nice is that um, it's got a little cafe there as well, which John and I had a little drink there later. Um, so, just um, it was just great, you know. It was. Um, I remember James Griffith saying that, um, you know, when you meet, um, it's good that you finally meet someone. It's like you've already known them, especially if you've been corresponding with them for a long time. It's like you know, wow, you know, it's great. You know, we just shook hands, you know, hi John, hi Sean, and we just went off looking for records. We just looked around, uh, see what was what, you know, looking for some vinyl in the place. Um, it was the only place we went to. We didn't go anywhere else. It was a rainy day. It was a rainy af rainy afternoon. Ready weekend, as you all may know. Um, so yeah, it was just great fun. And what I picked up was pretty cool. Um, I picked up U2, even better than the real thing. The 12 inch, the Perfecto mix. And on the B side, you have the um, trance mix and the sexy dub mix. The sexy dub mix is fantastic. And uh, about U2, I'll say this, I've been listening to a hell of a lot of Zuropa and Axon Baby recently. My god, I can't wait to get my hands on them on vinyl. Yeah. So anyway, after that, um, we had a look around vinyl, um, he bought a record, I bought a record, and um, we then sat down. Hello everybody. Hello. John here. Um, we're in Cardiff market, indoor market, and just up there is Kelly's record store. Lots of records. And I've come along to meet with Sean here. Hello. What's the name of your channel? SW Studio Productions. Yeah. Okay, so we're having a nice cup of coffee and a glass of milk. And we're doing a bit of record talk. <laughs> so we sat down, of course, and, um, you know, had our drinks. And we just talked about stuff. We talked about our lives, we talked about movies, music, about our channels, and talked about different channels as well, new channels, you know, just. Just talking, you know, talking about good old stuff, you know, but and there you see. So yeah, it was just really good fun, and it was just great to talk to John. It was great, just great to meet up with him. And while um, so when we and when we got when we sat down, um, he um, opened up his bag of tricks, bag of records that I thought he'd do because he does it to James Griffiths, doesn't it? Probably everyone he's met up with. Um, he gave me some records. The first thing we popped out was um, he said, "What are your thoughts on Simon and Garfunkel?" I can take them all. I said, "I can take them all, even." <laughs> we just had a laugh. It's just funny. So yeah, it was really nice. He gave me a copy of one of the most findable records ever, "Bridge Over Troubled Water" by Simon and Garfunkel. Um, yeah, you know, haven't listened to this properly yet. Um, I know songs from this, of course. So I know "Bridge Over Troubled Water." It's a that's a beautiful song. Cecilia, The Boxer is an absolute classic. Baby Driver, yeah, you know, I know them songs, you know. The Bridge of Troll War, personally, and The Boxer. Boy, what songs they are. It's on the, that nice CBS label. So, yeah, when I have a chance, I'll probably listen to this. But I've still got a lot of stuff to listen to from, um, from last month. So, yeah, that's why. So yeah, and the next one he gave me was really interesting because I know about this band, but I haven't owned any anything by them, and it's a bad company. Um, this is a band, of course, that Paul Rogers was in. Paul Rogers was in Free, and he was later in uh, did that thing with Queen, uh, Queen plus Paul Rogers, which I actually don't mind. I don't mind him singing some stuff, Queen. Oh, it's a bit controversial to say on here, but you know that's my opinion. It's interesting with this because it's got um, a Mick Ralphs I think I know is on this. Um, 
else on this? Um, Mel Collins, who was with the Floyd, which is really interesting. And I believe Swan Song, sorry, Bad Company, were also on the Swan Song label at one point, I believe, um, which was Zeppelin's label. So, yeah. And uh, here is the, the record, Bad Company. This is on the Island label. I also saw Bad Company. I think that's, yeah, that's the only one I know off here is Bad Company. So yeah, that's quite cool. And that's what he gave me. I was so, it was so great that he gave me this because I've been seeing it for a while. I need to get a new copy of this album. I bet they, I got it for free. Um, so yeah, Invisible Touch by Genesis because my copy, my old copy, which I've had now for five years, my God. Um, has a um, has a um, scratch right at the beginning of Invisible Touch. Like if I listen to Invisible Touch without a damage, you know this is a classic record, as we as everyone should know. Classic eighties album, um, one of my favourites. And what I love about this is that the hand is embossed. Oh, it's got a cool feel to it, so that's quite nice. Thank you so much, John. For those nice records. So, um, yeah, then after that we talked for a little bit more, and then John um, went off, and then I went off back to my family. So, thank you all for watching, and again, thank you so much, John, for getting me up with me in Cardiff. Um, fair play to you, and thank you for the records. And thank you, VC, for watching. Bye bye for now. Hi, everybody. Hello. Uh, hi. Just do the hi again. I was a bit too high then, that's why. <laughs>